Hello and welcome to our number today on Oweleka TV. How are you feeling today? I know you're feeling splendid. Welcome to your number one channel that keeps you updated with the latest trending news. My name is Michael Lekene and I have... I'm Benedict. Benedict, myself yeah. and... Sada too. All right, let's move straight to this day on... In history, on September 3, 1985, the Nigerian government led by General Ibrahim Babangida was overthrown in a military coup. However, Babangida had actually orchestrated the coup himself and he then declared himself the new head of state. Interesting, very brilliant man. Mm -hmm. That's a smart move. <laughs> yeah. That's a smart one. Okay, so uh, in 1998, uh, we have General Sani Abacha, the very famous General Sani Abacha, uh, died suddenly leading to the transition to a democratic government. So Abacha actually died on in 1998 on September 3rd. May you gentle soul continue to rest in, in peace. peace yeah. yeah. On this day, September 3rd in 1971, the Persian Gulf state Carter gained its independence after 55 years of British rule. Thank you. Yeah, All right, move straight to what <laughs> the paper. Years. Five years. Yeah, oh pretty sure that was so much. Yeah, let's move straight today to what the papers are saying. I'm starting from the paper that is punchy. The punch today above the header on page 19. Petrol will be exported if marketers boycott product that is coming from Dangote refinery away from that hospitals, tertiary institutions, electricity subsidy may go up. 188 billion naira. That is so much money. Uh, details on page 19. And then PCL may stop petrol import as deport price nears 1,000 per liter. It's still escalating. We're still waiting for Danco to refinery to start rolling. But then for the price to skyrocket to 1,000 per liter. In some states, it's already 1,000. Please, federal government, to do something. Away from that, a big story. PDP governors Mwike may clash as N. WC meets Wednesday uh, to write us to that story. NEC pressures NWC to hand over reverse PDP to Fubara. PDP governors will address minister threat at meeting, says Forum DG. And then uh, the last story I'll take on the Punch newspaper today. Hunger protest is the kicker of the story. Britain denies fleeing as caught remand stand. Details on page 7. It's a very big story that will We'll move straight to later. Over to you. Sedatu. Thank you so much. Let's take a look at the Nation newspaper and all the juicy headline that comes with it. The first headline says, Oyo to deploy 20 CGM buses given by federal government. And then the next headline says, Woman held in Canada for threatening to poison Nigerians. Osime still one year loan deal with Galantasaray. He's waited so much and right now he has to go to Turkey on, on a loan because Ahila, Ah. Uh, Ali and of Chelsea did not yet. So we've seen a, it's a good one for him. Yeah. So congratulations to him. Ex President Yara Dual's mom died in Castina at the age of 102. And then the big story says treason, police place 20 million bounty on Britain, Nigerian. And then there are two writers to that story NLC President Ajaru for, in, for interrogation over linked with Wayne. Also, the last headline says investors in $500 million. FGM bound to get allocation Friday. That's all the package on the national newspaper. For further reading, do well to grab a copy. Over to you, Benedict. Okay, uh, let's look at the Daily Times this morning. Uh, on top of the newspaper, the big story there says, FG charges 10 end bad governance protesters with treason. FG charges 10 end bad governance protesters with treason. And then uh, I'll just take uh, two writers from that story. He said, Court orders defendants to be remanded at Kuje Suleja prisons. And the second one says, police declare Britain, Nigeria wanted for plotting to destabilize Tirubu's government. Uh, another story from uh, the Daily Times newspaper says, PDP summons Wiki set to discipline members for anti-party activities. PDP summons Wiki set to discipline members for anti-party activities activities and uh, the next story from uh, the Daily Times newspaper says reps hail Tinubu over 50% electricity subsidy for mm. tertiary institutions and hospitals. Just for tertiary <laughs> and hospitals. What yeah. about the Nigerians that are suffering? They? No, no, they can take care of themselves. Really? Okay. <laughs> yes, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, so uh, another uh, uh, interesting story from the nation's newspaper from uh, the page three. Uh, 34 rather uh it says debt servicing consumes 64 percent of nigerians 4.36 billion dollars foreign payment 
in the first quarter of 2024. Uh, I don't I don't really know how they are going to sort this out. But debt servicing, 64%, that's a very high margin. They keep taking so much money from so our much, economy. So they much, keep so servicing much. debt. Yeah. Why not just clear the debt once and for all? Okay, that, that, that will be all the story from the Daily Times. Over to you, uh, Michael. Thank you, Benedict. Let's move straight to still on the Daily Daily Trust today. Now, the first header is IGPA better could get three-year tenure extension. Away from that, I miss fuel scarcity and NPCL to become so buyer from Dangote Refinery. That's coming from report. And then uh, the big story on the Daily Trust is Boko Haram kills many farmers. Others in fresh Yobe attack. Uh, Born houses, shops, that's the first rider. State government plans, mass barrier. It's happening a lot in Yobe State. It's, yesterday in we spoke about State, Sokoto. We saw some news that yeah. um, bandits attacked some places in Shiriru and Kuta like that. It's something else, yeah. Just yeah. yesterday, uh, the federal government is relocating to the chief of army staff and other mm, service to chiefs Sokoto to Sokoto and other northern, that five northern states, mm. Zamfara, Katsina, Niger, Kaduna, is something else. It's something yeah. else, yeah. yeah. We pray that. May God keep guiding the state. It's not, it's something else happening. All right. The, the last right, insecurity disrupting agricultural activities, not on governors. That is why we have scarcity of food and commodities. Mm -hmm. Most people cannot go to the farm. Yeah, they can go to the farm right now. Yeah. Comfortably do what they have to do because they are scared of um, bandits and other like, It's something else. Yeah, yeah. Else, yeah. All right. Uh, that's the last story I'll take on the Daily Trust. Uh, the big story is actually big because. Nigerian is saying that we are placing 20 million naira ransom <laughs> that is allowed for anybody who gets to Britain and the Nigerian who is involved in plotting to sabotage Tinubu's government or to overthrow Tinubu's government. Is that possible? That is big. We'll be right back on the big story on Ad Number. Don't go nowhere. Follow us on our social media handles at Ubeleke TV. Visit our website at www.uweleke.tv for a thrilling journey. Uweleke TV, rising star at the fairground. Welcome to the big story on our number today. The story is actually big as the first public relations officer, ACP Muyua Adejobi, releasing a statement that... The man who is connected with, of course, the hashtag and bad governance protest sponsorship, uh, Mr. Wine. Yeah, yes. the, the Briton and, and a Nigerian, yeah. uh, he's something. Uh, he's yeah, yeah, he's Obia. Uh, I he's an Obia connected. Is he from? <laughs> <laughs> you know, have reportedly like regular Obia. Yeah, they have reportedly <laughs> fled the nation sure. in connection to sponsorship. Uh, the Briton actually said that some Nigerians patronized his shop, uh, saying that he actually wanted. Uh, he was orchestrating chaos mm. to instigate violence that would unseat APC. That is treason. That's treason. That is treason. Exactly. That is treason, yeah. Because for you to actually come to uh, someone's country, remember there was a time where we told Nigerians that there are some foreigners who have a hand in this NSAS pro yeah, and bad Pol governance protest. Um, yeah, some Polish citizens. Now it's a Briton. Mm. Uh, have you ever imagined a, a Briton being involved in Nigeria? Who knows spy? Yeah. Who knows if he's even a spy, you know? Mm. Things like this do happen. There was a time in China where they had to send some people, use Chinese people to, like, try to distort the mm. government. That was in history a few days, uh, a few years. A few years ago. Yes. Well, let's talk about this, this gist, Benedict. Mm. Do you think, aside from Mr. Wine being, okay, fled in the country as investigations started by the police, as reported by ACP, Munyuwa at Dejobi. Do you think there are other people that are yet to be pinpointed? Uh, do you, uh, I think this investigation will reveal more. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what I really think about this situation is is very vast because uh, I I really like looking at things critically when it comes to the Nigerian case. Okay. So investigation is still on. That's okay. that's one thing we need to understand. And already this pronouncement has already been made because if you read uh, the story to this headline, you. You understand that police have not even concluded the investigation. investigation so, yeah. so placing a bounty without uh, a formal Proper, conclusion okay. of the investigation, Situation. somehow I I think uh, I don't really know how it I feel about gave that. Them yeah. to even yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. it's just, just like <coughs> exactly. It's just like uh, yesterday. I think we talked about uh, the military going to Sokoto, Sokoto State. Yeah. Right? So these people came up on the air to declare what they want to do. Dude. It's more like telling your enemies, I want to do this, yeah, I want to do that. You. So you're just giving them a hint mm. of what you want to do. Mm. You understand? And yeah. so for them to flee means they already got the information 
of the whole thing that is going on. Because uh, I think yesterday, uh, some end bad governance uh, protesters was tried in court yeah, yeah. yesterday. And I think this same guy, Andrew uh, De Britton, was Wayne. yes yes he was on twitter he was calling out for the release of those people that were mm. arrested yeah. he was talking about that protest is uh, a right to any human in a country in a mm. democratic government yeah. so to me i think the only thing i feel uh, bad about the whole situation is that investigation is still on absolutely okay and uh, for you to just declare something like that is to me i don't see it as professional mm-hmm. uh, that's just that's just what i feel about it right, from what i'm hearing following intelligence gathering mm-hmm. from the police dss he's been reported that nine nine people were were actually arrested in connection to this mm. and it is alleged from intelligence gathering mm. that the Briton is actually a financier remember they talked about him financing these people to to go to army barracks to instigate ba- yeah to cause mayhem mm-hmm. uh, talking about instigating anarchy that we overthrow the sitting do you think uh, the presidency would take it lightly he will not too. he will not Judging from this, we think he's taking a step already. Mm. And nobody will want to hear that somebody is coming to overthrow there and they just, just sit down and not mm. do anything about yeah. it. But just like um, Benedict says, it's unprofessional. They would have done their investigation and Quietly. you don't even tell people that th- there's a bounty on this person. You just go ahead, get your facts, get your evidence and move Pick in. them up. Yes. All right. You heard it. Maybe the Nigerian police would have... well. Kudos to Nigerian police also by actually identifying these people. They've done a good job. Fantastic ACP Muyuwa. Uh, but then I feel they would have gone ahead to arrest yeah, these people, cool. you know, pick them up and then tell Nigerians, hey, you have to hail us for a good a good job or a job well done. Okay, I, th- I think another thing that is very interesting about the story is uh, the link between the label, uh, the uh, Ajero, Ajero. Mm-hmm. the label uh, leader with the case. The case. I, I think uh, this uh, Andrew guy, uh, they say he has a bookshop or a school, a school. Okay. that is in the it's building of the NLC, yeah. NLC uh, building, yeah. the building. So I think uh, when Ajero was picked up, when all this why they've been inviting yes, him, yeah. I think it was because of similar case. Mm-hmm. And I'm I'm just trying to get it linked together. Ajero planning the protest uh, on the name of L- uh, NLC. See? And the end bar governments protest yes. coming up at the same time. time. But then remember, the same same remember the NLC came out to say we were not part of we the protest. We were not part of this protest. Exactly. We were not this protest. That's exactly what I'm trying to, yes. you know, trying to get the whole thing together to actually get the link between these okay. two things mm-hmm. is, is, is very. So I, I just think uh, both the police and everybody involved should just take a professional uh uh, move to just Make get these facts right. Yes, exactly. Yes. So that we'll not just... Okay, because in Nigeria, I think we've had a whole lot of... Uh, a similar case. I think it was Binance. Okay. When when it was declared that there were sponsors of terrorism yeah. in Nigeria. Yeah, using Binance. Binance, yeah. Exactly. But do you know till today, we've not had any... any uh, I don't really uh, know... I, I had stories. He was sick. He's mm, this. He yeah. fainted and all those. The thing there is that, right, if they do a proper investigation, they would have apprehend these people now take a look at um uh, pavik uh, duro of um the uh, ceo of um telegram mm. the, the um, french authority did not let him know that he wants they are coming after him they allowed him to come into the country and then they apprehended him they arrested him mm. yes so i think it's the same approach so i think the same approach they, they would have used the same idea. approach you don't mm. have to tell people that oh i'm get, looking get for this get your they here. didn't tell him anything he was in the country they knew something was going on on, on his platform mm-hmm. they never said anything they allowed him to come into the country and whoop they arrested him it's actually regrettable that anyone that is plotting anarchy and then uh, impeachment on the government of the day especially tinubu right now that is a no-nonsense president <laughs> will be allowed to fled i believe that since intelligent information gathered that he is a sponsor apprehend them so that other sponsors and financiers can also be fished out but kudos to the police for even the step they have taken 20 million naira ransom of course you know many, many people that's a whole lot uh, yeah that's a whole lot many people jump on it <laughs> all right that is the size of a uh, jump on our channel and tell us what you feel about what the police is doing are they actually doing well awesome but then also the federal government also is trying to beef up the security let's see that this hashtag and bad governance protest comes to a logical conclusion the government should also do the right thing please because it's hunger the protest was actually instigated by hunger yeah. has hunger been ameliorated no the question is no people are still hungry that is the size of the package of half numbers today thank you so much benedict thank you very much nice thank you say that too you're welcome T will come on your way again tomorrow it's gonna be
outnumbered again tomorrow. My name is Michael Ekene. Do have a splendid day.